this is like way out of my comfort zone. Let's hope I do well. Hi everyone. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Bushle and I'm adopted. The whole point of this video is just to shed some light on adoption. Like, you just want to just give some background. Okay, so obviously, like I said, I am adopted and I've been with my family for coming up 12 years on the 9th of November, which when I post this will be today. So, today is my 12 years. Yeah. So, happy World Adoption Day. Um,. Yeah, so if you just want to like support adoption and stuff, just post a picture with a smiley face on your hand and just hashtag it as hashtag World Adoption Day. I did ask on my Twitter and on my Instagram if you guys have thoughts, opinions, ideas, questions about adoption, if you could please send them to me. I'm going to answer them now and I'm going to do my best. All of the things that are said in this video are my opinion my experience so what may what is true for me may not always be true for every single adoptee so i just want you to keep that in the back of your head so that if you meet somebody else and their experiences are not the same as mine that you don't come for me <laughs> if i do laugh and it's not necessarily something that i should be laughing at then um just bear with me it is my coping mechanism i do that a lot if you know me in person you know that i do that like, i'm just gonna go through the questions now and i'm gonna answer them to the best of my ability and yeah so let's get to it there's a lot of people who are just like saying adoption is really great and it's positive and you guys had like a lot of really nice things to say about adoption so i'm really thankful for that so thank you the first question is did you have a say in your adoption and were you involved in the decision making okay for me because i was older when it did happen basically what happened is because i was originally in foster care and i remember one christmas i read like a letter to santa and i was just like um the first one is like i want to be adopted right and up until that point my parents hadn't um they hadn't been like pursuing the adoption thing they not because they didn't want to but because like there was a lot of like background stuff but then at that point they decided that they did want to and when it was like coming near to the time I think I signed something as well to just to say that you know my parents weren't like being like Bushla, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna tell them that you want us to adopt you it wasn't like that so I had to just sign because I was older just to say that like you know I do want to be adopted and what is my personal opinion on the adoption process um, does the process of adoption need any changes and improvements for me it was just very very lengthy but every adoption is different but mine was exceptionally lengthy it depends on your situation i guess because sometimes it is very quick and it is very easy to just like finalize it complete it and you'll be done but mine did take very long because there was a lot of things that did have to be sorted out so it's lengthy it's, it's very lengthy i don't know i had to go to court many 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 times you know you go and then you think it's done but it's not because then you go again and you go again so that is annoying but I think it's worth it because I am where I am so yeah. have you experienced bullying because of the fact that you are adopted <laughs> okay I don't think I have I could don't remember being bullied for it and if it was you know, people probably spoke behind my back but I genuinely I do not remember there was however an incident when I was nine years old it was the pettiest fight of my life i'm not even kidding and i remember it and at the time it genuinely hurt my feelings it did he did say um haha you're adopted because no one loves you but when i got home that day i think my mom and my brothers and my dad they all said to me <laughs> which i think is like the best thing ever is like at the end of the day like <laughs> It sounds so bad. Obviously they were trying to make me feel better so I'm not saying like to anybody who's not adopted that you weren't wanted but it was just like just remember like you were chosen to be a part of this family. My parents just kind of got stuck with him. 
but I don't remember any time of actually like being bullied about the fact that I am adopted. I think people are always like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Everybody wants to know, like, like why? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, is it fun? Like, what's it like? You know, tell me what's it like. People will ask me, what's it like growing up with white parents? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, it's 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 my normal. Like, so it's the same way you feel with growing up with your parents is the same way that I feel growing up with my parents. <laughs> they like stigma related to adoption. I don't know. Like, I know people have the thing about us racial adoptions. I know a lot of people don't like that. People just don't agree with it. I feel like if you're giving somebody a loving home, taking them out of a negative situation and putting them into a better situation where they can prosper, where they are given certain opportunities, then I think it's really okay and that race should not be a defining factor like into whether or not you will adopt somebody I just think it's always just like just do what's best for the child explain the process from your point of view like meeting your parents siblings parents and siblings etc then there's one that ties into this which is how do they go about processing or introducing a child to their potential adoptive parents it basically how they kind of like did it is because my sister is one year older than me so we were like friends we started having like play dates so it started being like i'd sleep over a night then it was the weekends and i'm not sure if i did a holiday like, it was just like every single time it just like was doing like more and more and more eventually i just went home with them but so it was like it was a process but they obviously couldn't just like take me and just like throw me there like <laughs> do you feel like a stranger when you go home with your new family or do you feel excited like i was excited because like this is my family this is where i'm gonna live you know and because i knew what was happening like i was kept in the loop the whole time so i was genuinely i was very very excited when you tell people you've been adopted are their reactions good or bad mostly good i think i don't think anybody's ever reacted negatively to the fact that i'm adopted people are just always like shocked and be like oh my gosh <laughs> and like people will be like mm, it makes sense now i sound very white i do how do you feel when people talk about their biological parents and you're in the room never affected me ever like your parents are your parents my parents are my parents i don't refer to my biological parents like as my parents they are not mom and dad to me they are biological parents i've never felt triggered by it in any way like because i have parents i do i have my mom and my dad i do so it's never affected me <laughs> Do adopted kids always want to know about their biological parents? I think every single person is different. I know my birth mother. I haven't met my birth father, but I know who he is. And if at some stage in my life I do want to meet them, my parents have given me, like, you know, they've, they've never said that I'm not allowed to. I am allowed to. Right now where I am, I do not want to so i've never wanted to i've never seeked a relationship with them you feel like you're not part of the family no is that the right answer i mean i feel like i'm part of the family <laughs> i've always been a part of the family i don't think i've ever felt left out or excluded yeah i don't know this is my family I did or do you feel the need to tell people that you're adopted why or why not i don't just go around telling people oh my gosh uh, did you know i'm adopted no <laughs> i've never done that I think it just it's something that if it comes up it comes up if it doesn't it doesn't and that's okay I think the only time I do tell people that I am adopted is when I am at the tolls the tolls are just like the worst experience of my life I'm not even kidding I speak an African language and I used to when I was younger I did but then I learned English and then my parents they gave me the option like they asked me if I wanted to learn again and I did not want to it was negative like it like speaking an African language at that time in my life was negative. It took me back to a negative time in my life and it brought back bad memories. I did not want to learn. Like People will, like at the tools, they will greet me, greet me in whatever language of the day, it's a different language every single time. And I'll respond in English. Okay? Why are you not speaking back in? Insert all the languages. 
and I'll just be like, I am English. And I'll be like, why are you English? I found the simplest way to just not have to explain myself any further is I will be like, I am adopted. Bye bye people. <laughs> and they're like, then they start chilling and being nice and whatever. And they stop interrogating me because I literally, I get interrogated a lot about that. Wouldn't it have been better if you stayed in foster care? So if things changed with your real family, you could have the option to be placed back and have your own <laughs> culture, race, and family. Personally, I think that foster care sucks. It genuinely sucks. There's no sense of belonging. You want to belong in your own family, but when you're in foster care, there's a possibility that at any given moment, I could literally just leave. Leave without any explanation or anything. I was genuinely scared. Like, there was a lot that I didn't understand because now, because it's not official. Like, it's not official at any given time. I could just, they could just ride up and take me out of the house. The whole culture race family thing personally I think on the family matter is that my family is my family <laughs> sometimes the family that you like your birth family sometimes they're just it's not a good situation for you and in all honesty you were gonna be hurt even more in that family than you would be anywhere else so I just nah <laughs> my dad always says that um, we shouldn't see it as like when it's um, cross-racial my dad says that we shouldn't see it as losing culture but rather gaining another one I am black and nobody can take that away from me no matter what you say it doesn't matter where I grew up or anything you cannot take the fact that I am black away from me I get to enjoy both sides of my culture because obviously there's the white culture that I grew up with so I have that and there's the black culture that I do have access to. I have both cultures at my disposal, you know? So I'm very grateful for that. I was foster care and adoption different. Adoption, you are secure and you know that you're not going anywhere after this. Like, this is your family and nobody can come and take you away because you're safe, you're home. Foster care is just, it's, it's scary, I guess, because you don't know what's going to happen anything can happen you can be taken away at a moment's notice adoption is definitely more secure how could your parents have better helped you prepare for dealing with racism like I've never actually had to like like proper proper like deal with racism I mean obviously there are people that stare people will stare like if there's two white parents and a black child walking walking people will stare we can stare it makes the child feel bad uncomfortable just don't stare that's all I ask do not stare because we feel it if you even if you think that we cannot see it we can feel your eyes on us we, do white people treat you differently as an adopted black person and then the same as do black people treat me differently as an adopted person I don't know if white people treat me differently like, I don't know how they would have treated me whether or not they knew I was adopted like, with black people and they have met me and they realize that i only speak english they've been like you know not like mad but like annoyed like been like upset with me because i don't speak an african language but then the second i do tell them that i am adopted and i do have white parents and they're more forgiving some people say that adoption is not a good thing what do you think i think adoption is good when it is in the best interest of the child Adoption is good because it takes a child out of a really, most of the time, really, really, really negative situations and puts them into a safer environment. How would have life been if you weren't adopted? I don't know because for me, I couldn't have gone back to my birth mother even if I wanted to. It would have sucked really, hey, because I really wouldn't have had anywhere like to belong and it's like you know if i'd gone to school school and you know people would be talking about their experiences with their family and it's like huh, i don't have that 
So I, genuinely, I think adoption changed my life for the better. I'm very grateful because I know not everybody is as lucky as I was to get adopted. The last question is, what does culture mean to me? I don't know how to describe it. Like, my culture is South African because, <laughs> let me tell you, it's a mix and match up in here. There's aspects of my black self, there's aspects of my white self. I am South African and that is what you need to know. Something that I do that are white, okay? And it's okay. And then there are things that I do that are black. And that's okay too. Okay, so that's it for today. If you'd like me to tell you more or if you have any more questions, don't be afraid to just either DM me on Instagram, DM me on Twitter. My Instagram and Twitter are both at its bullshit. Happy adoption day. Don't forget to post your pictures. And remember to smile. Because